just a few months ago, we looked at these trees blooming. Now look at all the olives on them. Pretty soon it will be time for the olive harvest. Rosh Hashanah, like all of the seasons, has an agrarian background to it. And of course, this is the beginning of what we call the ingathering. And that's why the mission on the Talmud took on the Semitic uh, tradition of using this time of year as a time of accounting and reckoning. Rosh Hashanah entering us into these 10 days of awe. The Jews have this tradition that the books are open in heaven. Now, this is of course not from the Bible, but we do have an amazing uh, part of the Bible that talks about the book in heaven. And this is from Revelation 5, 5, where everyone is weeping. And it says, do not weep, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the scroll and to loose its seven seals. This, of course, is the Lamb of God, and we recognize him as the Jewish Savior here. And it says in verse 9, you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals. And then, of course, this whole concept of the book of life that's in heaven that one day will be open. Rosh Hashanah has many traditions. Of course, we have a festive meal. We have to have many traditional foods and we have uh, traditional greetings. Uh, but the main thing is that we must hear the shofar. As a matter of fact, on the first day of Rosh Hashanah, the tradition is that we hear it a hundred times in one day. A hundred times that that is calling and stirring and getting us alive in Him. So may it be a sweet year in the years to come. And in this year, especially after all that we've been through, may it be a very special year for all of us. Every Rosh Hashanah, we have a certain amount of traditional blessings. And then it's also traditional to invent a couple new blessings for the year to come. And then you eat something that has, sounds similar to the blessing. So a couple of years ago, I thought of kola as shenishmaet kol Hashem. May we hear, may we hear the voice of God in Hebrew. In, yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Well, Leviticus 23 tells us: Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first day of the month, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial of blowing of trumpets. That's the word shofars a holy convocation. That's what Israel is about to start and celebrate, is this beginning of what we call the days of awe. This is the seventh month. I'm sorry if I said that about the last time. Elul isn't the seventh month. Tishrei is. And on the last day of Elul, you have the blowing of the shofars and the beginning of this holiday that we call today Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year. And it's traditional, of course, to eat these wonderful sweet uh, foods and to bless each other with holiday greetings. And the whole concept of this being the day that we enter into reckoning with God, judgment with God, and the 10 days of all that will culminate with what we call Yom Kippur, the day of covering or the day of the sacrificing. So we have here a holy convocation as it says a memorial and the tradition of why this is called rosh hashanah or new years for the jewish world is that it's believed to be the day that adam was created and that creation was completed and god said it was good so that's how this came into the tr tradition in judaism to be called the new year it is the year now of 5781 and we start counting from this day, the first day of Tishrei. So, um, welcome to Rosh Hashanah. So, we want to wish you Shana Tova Vemetuka. Shana Tova Vemetuka to you. Hope we have a sweet year.